Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Dan, and just wanted to showcase my two new laptops. The uh, reason I have two is because I started with the Alienware, and then um, decided to try something else. And I will explain why, um, what my thought process was, and I'm going to do a quick comparison between the two, which are very close in power, but um, <clears throat> clearly a completely different size. So... You may be asking why I have two laptops, what the whole point of this is. Like I said, the main point is to compare and contrast these laptops to figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are and which one I ultimately like more. I will be returning one. Uh, fortunately, Micro Center, Amazon, they all have great return policies. So as long as you don't drop the thing or throw it in the road, they'll let you return it within 14 days, within 30 days. Um, you know, you just got to take care of it. So... Yeah, I want to get a laptop in the other room. I built my desktop. Everybody says that. Why don't you build a desktop? Why don't you build a desktop? I guess that doesn't apply if you already built the desktop. So I have a built desktop with a 1080 GTX, a 6700K, um, 32 gigs of RAM. You know, just that default kind of cookie cutter setup. But it, it's great. Gets the job done. It plays high frame rates. The thing's awesome. I love it. It's in the other room, but that's for another day. So, you know, I do go out sometimes. I'm obviously employed. That's how I afford these things. Um, I go to my parents. I go to my girls. I like playing in front of the TV sometimes. So, yeah, I wanted a laptop to, you know, broaden my playability. And I wanted something that could handle the most current titles. So, I started out with the Alienware. This is the 17-inch Alienware R5. <clears throat> this laptop is awesome. Do not get me wrong. This thing, currently it is a little dimmed because it's got eye tracking. So that adjusts the lighting. It's a big boy. Now, don't let that put you off. There's so many things online now on YouTube on reviews. Thin and light is in. It's like, oh, if it's not thin and light, if it's got large bezels it's it's not a good laptop that's not true whatsoever i know it's 2018 and i know bezel-less is the new thing and it the razor blade looks beautiful like that don't get me wrong but there's nothing wrong with having a larger device and if you need a desktop replacement it pays off having a larger frame a larger device overall will give you more adequate cooling so I started off with the Alienware. I wanted something powerful that I could walk around with, play in front of the TV, go somewhere else with, take the work, and play games, do whatever. So <clears throat> I searched. I went to Micro Center. I saw this Alienware. This Alienware is the best model in my eyes because there's, there's so many variations, as we all know. You can get them with different storage, different amounts of RAM, different GPU, CPUs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I found this on Micro Center. This one was the best combination of parts in my eyes because <clears throat> it had a 1070 GTX, not a Max Q like the Razer Blade, a full desktop grade 1070 GTX overclocked. So not only does Alienware put the 1070 in these, they overclock it too. So the core in this thing boosts to almost 1900 megahertz. So let's see if I got GPU. Yep, GPU Z is open right now. It's only at 1400, but I'm logged into Steam on my other computer. It'll just have to take my word. This boosts up to like 1900. The memory clock stays at 2000 times 4. It's 8000, which is typical, but this goes up to like 1875, 1900. So it's overclocked. It's a full size GTX 1070. Um, it's awesome. I mean, this this laptop is almost on par with my 1080 GTX desktop with the newer processor. The temps on this are fantastic. So you may have a larger laptop with slightly larger bezels, <clears throat> but keep in mind you got a nice larger screen to play on. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. You got a nice larger screen to play on. Uh, you got a full size keyboard, and you have better cooling. I've played the new Shadow of the Tomb Raider on this for, I don't know, maybe a week now. The GPU temps do not go above 65 degrees Celsius. The CPU temps will hit. 
it's a very hard process to cool the 8750H. So even on this, what Alienware's new updated cooling, um, it it did hit like 93 one day, but it averages about like 50s, which isn't bad at all. And it doesn't stay at 93. It'll peak 93, the fan profile kicks in, and it goes right back down. So as we see right now, I haven't done anything on this yet. I fired it up, but we hit a max of 69. Average is 45, which is nice and low. Uh, minimal is 36, which is very nice and cool. Of course, that's just starting up. GPU, low, 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 but we'll go through that a little more. Uh, so long story short, I went to Micro Center. This was the best laptop for the money. Bear with me here. I'm not a professional reviewer, so I just do this on my Samsung Galaxy S8. Um, it could be better, but I'm just trying to help people out out there. So, went to Micro Center. I saw this. This laptop was $19.99, so just under two grand, or about two grand. It came with the 1440p Quad HD monitor <clears throat> at 120 hertz. Came with the full size GTX 1070. It came with the new i7 8750H. It came with 16 gigs of DDR4. So you may be thinking, wow, this thing's got a 1440p screen and 120 hertz and G Sync and, and a full size GTX? W what's the catch? Really? And Toby Eye Tracking, before I forget. These monitors come with Toby Eye Tracking, which is cool. It's cool, it works, but I don't think it's 100% necessary. <clears throat> but anyways, all this for two grand. What's the catch? It really wasn't much of a catch. The only thing I could think of is they cut back on the SSD size. The SSD in this was only 120 gigabytes, and it came with a terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive. I don't mind waiting an extra minute <clears throat> on loading times, but if you don't have a supplemental hard drive, do not get anything less than 512 because this thing is the 512 model. You got to take into consideration once Windows is installed and the default files are placed on a computer, the 512 gigabytes uh, SSD goes from that to like... 440 or 420 so you're not even getting 512 you're getting foreign change that goes quick fortunately this had a extra terabyte hard drive but it's not an ssd it still loads fast i put my big games on like shadow of the tomb raider but yeah that's the only catch i can think of so <clears throat> other than that it's been a great laptop um plenty plenty of power like I said, I have everything playing on 1440p at at least. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a little different because it's the newest game of the series. It's more demanding, but I get like 40 to 60 FPS on 1440p super max settings. Everything maxed out, which is pretty phenomenal. 1080p, forget about it. I'll probably be 100 FPS, no problem. This thing handles the most current titles, 1440p. That's what the screen is. It's 120 hertz plus G-Sync. 144 hertz is nice, but you're not utilizing that unless you have the FPS for it. So yeah, it looks smoother, but that's what this has over this. Although this is 144 hertz, this has more pixels. It's got 1440p. It has 24 less hertz, but it still has G-Sync. So you got three boxes checked off. G-Sync, high hertz, and 1440p. This has high hertz, 1080p, no G-Sync. So that's really up to the consumer. But personally, I think this is a perfect setup for a laptop. With a full-size 1070 GTX and the newer um, Intel i7, this, I really have nothing bad to say about this laptop except... After a while, I got it, the design. <clears throat> they could have shrunk the bezels more. It's a big laptop. Is it heavy? It's 10 pounds. I mean, I'm not a girl. I'm not a frail individual. If you can't lift a 10-pound laptop and you have to complain about the weight, uh, you should probably start reevaluating some things in your life. But let's be honest. It, it's big. It takes up a little more desk real estate. But you can tote it around. It's more of a chore. 
It's it is more of a chore. That's why I got this to test out. If you're bringing it in and out of work every day, if you're trying to throw it in a bag, it's more of a chore. But as a desktop replacement, it's a phenomenal laptop. It runs cool and handles the most current titles. Um, has RGB lighting, but zone lighting on the keyboard. I think the new ones have individual. At this point, the more I play around with it, I think zone's fine because I'm not a fan of mismatched keys. I set this up so we have... The Toby eye tracking is pretty glaring. It just gets in your face, but I kind of blended the zones together with my desktop. So, yeah, it's a little better of an angle. <clears throat> As you see, I like the zone lighting. It's cool. And what's nice about this laptop is this is all customizable. It's got the cool LEDs on the side. It goes all the way around. And, of course, you've got the iconic alien head on the back. That's all customizable. Once again, change it however you're liking. <clears throat> uh, while I'm over here, the Alienware also has a substantially larger power cord, which is good. If you're not buying an outlet, this thing goes, I don't know, like 12 feet. I just set the razor blade up for the first time. It's definitely shorter. It's more of a stretch. So, Alienware thought out a bunch of stuff, and it's it, it's a solid laptop. It's built very well. It's it's nothing creaks for a big screen. It makes no noise. It's just it's just firm the thing it really is built like a tank and there used to be an old misconception that um alienware was overpriced and it's too expensive and you could build a better desktop dell took over alienware a few years ago or i don't, could have been like a decade at this point but ever since that point they it's one of the biggest computer companies in the world of course they're going to listen to consumers and they made things more reasonably priced I got this laptop for just under two grand, and it's more powerful than 95% of the other laptops, the same price I've tested. If not the most powerful, with the best screen. It's, like I said, with the specs, it can't be beaten. Um, so, real quick, what I'll show you is how Tomb Raider plays on this. Just bear with me one second. I'll show you my settings and how this bad boy performs. Great. Let's see if this still works. Is it gonna realize I'm not logged in? I'm logged in on the blade currently to install new games. So, oh no, it's still went through. All right, so what's cool about this also is you have Alienware Command Center, and you can create themes. So I had the, the Rainbow Galaxy RGB zones for default use, and then um, for my different games, I set up new themes. So for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I had all green. For WoW, I had all red. It, it's cool, so you don't have to manually change anything. You just go into the game, and um, it'll change accordingly, which I like a lot. It's this Alienware here, all these colors are changeable. It's just a very sleek looking laptop. Um, it's an Alienware. That name goes a long way, so people see it, they know what it is, they know it's quality. I have nothing bad to say about the build quality. Um, trackpad's a little small for what it is. Lights up too. Um, I it's got facial recognition on the camera instead of having to put my pin in when I log in it, it recognizes your face it logs you in uh, what else to say I mean it's I really have nothing bad to say about the laptop I love this thing <clears throat> I would definitely recommend it it's just big it's simply big that's it that's why I went with the Razer to test out and it's a competition I'll see which one's getting returned so uh, of course, I'm setting up Steam on the other computer. It's not showing FPS, but this is Tomb Raider on 1440. Just to show you. Uh, display and graphics. All right, so we got 1440, <clears throat> GTX 1070, 120 hertz. Uh... I actually lower this to four times. I don't think you need 16 times. Everything else is ultra, 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 on, on, on. This is the highest these go is normal, and everything else is on. So we're at 1440p, pretty much full ultra. 
Um, like I said, the FPS, I used to use Steam's in-game, but since I changed, I set it up on this laptop, it's not coming up. But as you could see, at 1440p, it's incredibly smooth. Um, in the city, like this, it gets, uh, like... It'll hit low 40s, but I have yet to dip below 40. Um, so full 1440p on this laptop, it will produce on the most demanding titles an easy 40 to 60 FPS, which is considerably good. If this was 1080p, it would be blowing through it no problem. But uh, considering the resolution, uh, I'm very happy with the results. That's pretty much on par, if not better than some desktops using a 1070 GTX, depending on the processor they're using. So, the eye tracking is cool. Like I said, it comes with this monitor. Um, if I move my retinas, let me put this camera up. Right now, I'm moving my head. So, as you can see, I'm not touching anything. Let's see if I can do it like this. All right, so I'm moving my head. <clears throat> you don't even have to move your head, actually. You move just your eyes. And if you see, the screen is moving accordingly. It's a very cool feature. It's cool to show people, and it works with the newest titles of games. They're incorporating Toby Eye Tracking more and more on new titles. Uh, but to be honest, I don't find myself using it that much because <clears throat> I've been a computer gamer for a while. You're just so used to using a mouse. And the sensitivity, I'm sure you could adjust it, but it's it doesn't work like a mouse. Like a mouse, you could right-click, and you could spin all the way around to see what's behind you. You can't do that with your eyes. You can move your eyes and it'll go left to right, but you, you can't see the full screen. Um, so, that's pretty much the extent of that. It handles newest titles very well. Um, so, I ran the game for a bit. Let's see what the temps are like. You can, you can hear the fans going a little, but it does not get that loud. It's a relatively quiet laptop, which is nice. Alright, so we're back to my main desktop. <clears throat> I like using GPU-Z for some reason on this laptop. Just bear with my phone here. Uh, on hardware monitor, it doesn't show my video card, but CPU-Z, if you go into the second screen on sensors, it does. So, like I said, it pretty much hit 1900. 1875 is the boost on this, which is substantial. On the max Qs, like in this, I think it hits like 1400 maybe. So, this is a big difference with this desktop grade 1070. Now, GPU temp, after playing for a little bit... Oops... That's the minimum, 31. That's the max. It only hits 66. <clears throat> Trust me when I say it barely goes above that. Maybe it'll hit 67, but after an hour or two of gameplay, I've yet to see it go above that, which is very, very cool for a laptop video card. Um, cooling is phenomenal on this. Uh, CPU temp. CPU temp gets higher. Uh, despite how good a laptop could cool, this is just a hot processor from what I've seen on every new laptop that is an 8750H, these things get hot, and unless you have crazy cooling, they're going to max out in the low to midnight, even high 90s, and then dip down. So, although the max is 92, it's not really reason for concern, because look at the average, 50.7. That's next to nothing. So, when we have a minimum, you have the max, and then you have the average. Um, I think that's fine. As long as it's not staying in the 90s, that's that's plenty. So, <clears throat> ultimately, um, I love this laptop. I don't necessarily want to return it, but it's just large. That's it. If you need this as a desktop replacement or you don't have a desktop, then by all means, I think this is great. <clears throat> Set it up. Find a nice cooling pad for it, although you may not even need it. And uh, just go to town. Go to town. This thing will handle most all new games. Excuse me, all new games it will handle, and many more to come. Um, you just saw me playing one of the newest, best-looking games on 1440p, no problem. Uh, wow, 
I play 1440p resolution scale at 150% all ultra. I get constant 70 to 100 FPS. It maxes out at 100. That's why uh, PUBG was 70 to 90 FPS and 1440p. <clears throat> and the performance is great. It's great performance all around. Um, like I said, uh, love the laptop. It's a little more of a chore to put it in the car, take it into work. It's just, it's not as subtle. So that's really my only downside or downside of the laptop in my eyes. Other than that, it's a fantastic performer. And I recommend this model if you're going to get one. They make other ones with, <clears throat> excuse me, I think even 1060s. Don't get the 1070. I don't even think you need a 1080 unless you have the extra money to spend. You're in the three grand range at that point. For two grand, get this model. It's got a 1440p screen, 120 hertz, and 8750, and a full desktop 1070 overclocked. It's awesome. The SSD is only 128, yes, but it's got a terabyte hard drive, and you could always upgrade the SSD. It's a great laptop. It's simply large. Um, now, this has to be returned soon. <laughs> I got to return this either tomorrow or tonight. Because they give you 14 days. This bad boy took me a while, but I was like, I want something that's small and light that I could tote around easier. Let me try this out. I read a lot of negative reviews on the Blade. I let, read a lot of positive reviews on the Blade. And I got tired of people who didn't know what they were talking about, who would review it, give it bad ratings, and come back and say, oh, it was wrong, or vice versa. I said, you know what, let me get it for myself. If it's that bad, I'll return it. Um, my first impressions is is awesome. It's an awesome laptop. They just came out with the Mercury White one. It looks nice, without a doubt, but the now that I have the black one in front of me, the black is just so sleek. I mean, the white one looks good, but I think it's because the white one's new and you don't have it. Um, people want what they don't have or the latest thing. So makes sense that everybody's like, oh my God, the Mercury white one. But I, I like the black one. I'm very happy with this. My first impressions after doing a lot of reviews was backlight bleed. I fired this up. Maybe they changed the models from the originals. <laughs> Maybe they updated them, but let me see if I could tone this down. I have no backlight bleed, like none. I was like, oh my God, I turned this thing.